So um, here are some uh, real life clinical examples of how AI can assist us. Uh, so here is a case of a 27 year old woman uh, with myopia and um, she had complaints of metamorphopsia and um, decreased visual acuity in her right eye in the last four months. Uh, and uh, uh, basically here you can see her OCT. And uh, it was analyzed by AI and look what uh, was found. So such biomarkers as diffuse edema, epiretinal fibrosis, cystocysts, retinal wrinkling and lamellar macular hole were detected as a biomarker. In the classification, um, uh, AI detected that uh, the diagnosis might be an epiretinal fibrosis and lamellar macular hole. After that, this patient was referred to an ophthalmologist and the, uh, after all the examinations and investigations, the final ophthalmic diagnosis was epiretinal membrane, lamellar macular hole, and um, uh, she was recommended uh, uh, to get a consultation with a vitro retinal surgeon. So you can see how precise the diagnosis of uh, AI was in this case. Uh, another case of a 58-year-old man uh, with myopia, and um, he had myopia since childhood, uh, family history of glaucoma, uh, no, uh, no symptoms, and he came just for a new pair of glasses, and he was investigated with, the, um, uh, he underwent OCT examinations, and here what you can see. Uh, so, uh, if we look to classification uh, detected by AI, so it was basically no pathology detected in this case, but um, um, it was uh, detected the high uh, level of glaucoma risk. So, here you can see that AI, uh, by analyzing the ganglion cell complex, uh, detected the high risk of glaucoma in this patient. Uh, again, he had no complaints, uh, like nothing special. So he underwent uh, additional uh, diagnostic methods and the final ophthalmic diagnosis was primary open angle glaucoma on his both eyes. And basically um, he started an anti-glaucoma treatment. And basically AI was the first uh, tool that uh, detected the risk of this uh, pathology. Uh, again, uh, one more case of a 67-year-old woman um, with complaints of decreased visual acuity during the last two, two months, and uh, she had history of type 2 diabetes uh, during 18 years, and you can see that the retina is damaged with, from, from her OCT uh, exam, and basically look at what uh, biomarkers were detected. Diffuse edema, floaters, intraretinal hyperreflective foci, uh, hard exudates, uh, intraretinal cystoid fluid, and you can see the classification of AI was diabetic macular edema and diabetic retinopathy. Uh, so she underwent um, different um, examinations, and final ophthalmic diagnosis was diabetic retinopathy and diabetic macular edema, and um, uh, she was prescribed uh, um, anti-VGF therapy. So basically, um, these three cases uh, uh, that were taken from uh, our real uh, real life practice showed us that uh, AI helps us uh, um, helps us not to miss uh, uh, pathologists even in early um, or asymptomatic stages uh, shows us how different pathologists basically look like uh, with this uh, coloring uh, which is um, also a part of our education postgraduate education that uh, gives us a, an idea of uh, diagnosis and gives us confidence of what we see and uh, basically it makes our work more efficient i would say right simon what would you say marvelous thank you thank you Maria. that that glaucoma one absolutely fascinates me because we probably just wouldn't have picked that up by any other method then suddenly there is ai saying whoa high risk of glaucoma there and what happened we're into saving this person's sight at a very early stage and that's ai working for us so question six then um 